Wait until you see our locator device in action. My colleagues really outdid themselves. How does it work? Simple. I activate the device to send out a wave of energy that resonates with the Dragon Crystal's magic in the amulet. Any undead the wave encounters will show up on the readout. Remember, one of them will be wearing Rissa's trinket. The effect doesn't last very long, but if we lose sight of the enemy, we can always send out another pulse. Sounds good. Let's field test this little gem and see if it works like it's supposed to. Lead the way. I'll follow. Stick a blade or two on that gizmo, and then you'll have my attention. <laughs> to confine. Very odd. These grubs aren't wounded or ill. They're just dead.
Now that's how you deploy new technology. Let's see the Vigil call out enemies they can't even see. I can't deny that it worked well, but there are other amulets out there. And how the brazen. True, the case is far from closed, but our success here brings us that much closer to the source of the problem, the original dragon crystal itself. Let's take this amulet and the detector back to the Citadel. Ritlock and the other orders need to know what we've achieved. Of course, though between the detector and the reagents Scholar Vivian's team provided, the Priory has this matter well in hand. Let me take care of a few final details here, and then I'll join you and the others. Orders disagree on how to proceed, so I have a plan. You choose which one will help. In return, I've arranged for you to permanently join that order. You'll still be a centurion of the High Legions, but you'll also be a link between us and your chosen order. Your warband will continue doing Citadel business while you're gone. I understand. Hal's involvement made this personal, but the Orion Dragon is a global threat. We need strong, reliable allies against it. Okay, people. Time to decide. We have the means to find the Necromancer's Dragon Crystal. And to destroy it. All thanks to the Priory. We know what we're doing. So now let us destroy the crystal without interference. We work better that way. There's no way I'm leaving a vital search and destroy mission to a bunch of academics. Wait for Vigil support before you make a move. Either way, the Order of Whispers will do what we always do. May you draw their attention, then strike from the shadows. It's your call, Centurion. But remember that you're not just helping out. You're joining the Order you choose. I overheard you're leaving us to join one of the Orders. I'm accepting a special assignment from the Tribune, and the Warband will need a leader while I'm gone. That's you, Legionnaire. Me? But I'm just a frontline life-taker. I need someone I can trust. Someone effective. You've got some rough edges, but there's nobody else I'd want calling the shots. If anyone objects, send them to me, or just crack their heads until they think different. You're in charge now. Act like it. I know you can handle this. I... Thanks, boss. You can count on me. Good luck in Lion's Arch. We'll be waiting for you when you get back. The Vigil is the right choice, soldier. You'll be a strong asset to us. Your skills will make a real difference in the world. The Vigil understands what this is. War. The Dragon Threat needs to be confronted head-on, starting with Necromancer Rissa. By now, Howl is most likely one of her mindless minions. He deserves to rest in peace, and she deserves to die. What's our next move? Direct assault with overwhelming force. The Priory can destroy the crystal, but we will clear the way for them to do so. If they falter or their magic potion fails, we'll bash it until it shatters. Meet me at Lichcroft Mirror, and we'll put an end to this.